Dear Lord, we thank you and we praise you for all things. We thank you for another day that you have given us. We thank you for the many blessings that you bestowed upon us. God, we are grateful for this time and this celebration, this celebration of the First Lady of Lady of the God, Church of God in Christ. I pray, God, that you will bless the program and every participant. And most of all, that you will bless Lord the honoree. Lord, bless her for the many efforts she's made and the many things she's done for the church. Sometimes, Lord, behind the scenes, things that people will never know that she's done to be a blessing to this church. She's been a blessing to me as pastor. She truly has been a helpmate for me. And God, I'm thankful and I'm grateful for her. I want you to continue to bless her. Bless the church, Lord, in their efforts to honor her. Bless your people everywhere. God, we're going to give you the praise. We're going to give you the glory for all that you've done. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. I will be reading and hearing Luke first chapter 42 verse. And blessed is she that believes, for there shall be a performance of those things which were told her from the Lord. Bless those who are hearers and doers of his word. Good evening. Thanks to each and every one of you for tuning in with us on this evening. I am very pleased to be welcome those of you that have been with us for a long time as well as those who are new to our virtual service on this evening. It gives me great pleasure to welcome you all in helping us to honor and celebrate our very own First Lady, Missionary Valerie Riley. You are welcome to clap your hands, stomp your feet, do your dance, but most of all, give God the glory. So once again, you are welcome, welcome, welcome.
bless you. I'm Lady Penrose. God bless the Lily of the Valley Church of God in Christ. And to your pastor, Pastor Roy Riley Jr. And to the Lady of the Hour, Lady Valerie Riley. I am so honored to have been chosen just to say a few words today on your special day. I want to say, first of all, I thank you for being a motherly figure and a mentor for my daughter, Demetrius, as she lived in the Delta area. I also want to thank you all for many, many years, the hospitality that you've shown toward my husband as he would minister at your church. And not only at your church, but any church in the area that you all would hear that he would be there to run revival, you all would go and support him. And he would come home and tell me that, honey, I believe the saints in the Delta area really loves me and loves my ministry. So I want to thank you for that because, Sister Riley, I know that you had a lot to do with his care as he was in the area. I want to say I thank you for being the woman that you've shown me that you are. There is an old saying that says, when someone shows you who they are, believe them the first time. For the first time that I met you, I saw a woman of faith, a woman of power, a strong woman, a woman of wisdom, a woman that was seasoned in her words. I thank God that you are a woman that loved your husband, a woman that loved your children, a woman that loved your church family, and a woman that works in the kingdom uh, to better the kingdom of God. So I thank you for being that woman. I know that we don't talk very often, but when we see each other, the love and friendship is there. I believe that you are a friend. I call you a friend. I call you my sister because you've shown me that. I want to say to you that today is your day. I salute you today. You are a woman of class. You are a woman in the class all by yourself. Even though you are educated, you do not look down on those who do, are not as educated as you are. And so I thank you for that. I want to say I want you to enjoy this day. I hope it is the absolute best day ever. Even though we're coming at you virtually, I hope that you can feel the love in our videos that we're sending towards you your way today. Stay strong, my sister. Your labor is not in vain. The reward that God is going to give you is going to be great at the end. At the end. So stand tall beside your husband and do the work of the Lord that he has called you to do. Until then, be blessed, my sister. God bless you. The other valley. It is truly a pleasure to be able to speak to you all concerning your first lady. There's a scripture in Proverbs that says, and I'm reading from the Amplified Version. It says, a capable, intelligent, and virtuous woman. Who is he who can find her? She is far more precious than jewels, and her value is far above rubies or pearls. To me, this really depicts Sister Valerie Riley. She is such a beautiful woman in the Lord. She walks with her husband. She should be cherished. And she is truly more precious than Ruby because it is many times difficult to find a virtuous woman as a first lady and to be able to work with her people and find her hands busy doing the work of the Lord. So truly, Sister Riley, my hat's off to you. Enjoy your day. Enjoy this year. This is a, a trying time, but it is a time to enjoy life and believe that God has more and greater for you. You are a virtuous woman in the eyes of the Lord. God bless you. Hallelujah. I'm excited today about Lily of the Valley taking time out for their precious jewel on this afternoon evangelist missionary valerie riley evangelist riley is a beautiful woman of god one whom i've come to really love one that i have always loved talking to and also laughing with i am so excited about what you all are doing on today and from one first lady to the other first lady God has placed us in this position to make sure that to me, out of these years, it seems as if he made, he chose us to make sure everything is carried out to the utmost in the church. 
We just want to please God and to make sure that when others don't do, we know we have to come up to the plate to make sure everything is carried out to his pleasing. So I say to First Lady, hang on in there. Enjoy your day. Be blessed and I love you.
First, I would like to give thanks to God for the opportunity to show my appreciation to our First Lady, Sister Valerie Riley. I have had the privilege to know Sister Riley in several capacities, first as a co-worker, then as a friend, and then as my First Lady. Um, today, we celebrate you, Sister Riley, and I am thankful to God for you. Um, one thing that I can say that was consistent in all those roles I have known you, you were always friendly, you were always loving, you made each person that come in contact with you feel loved and important. And today we like to say thank you. Thank you for your role in God's kingdom. Um, it does not go unnoticed um, days that you work a full-time job and you had to step in when pastor was not available and you would come right in and um, give the message or teach Bible study and come to um, church and teach a full class of young children. And today we want to say thank you. Thank you for everything you have poured into our lives. You pray for me and my family anytime I call. Um, you have taught my children. You have poured wisdom into their lives, and I'm sure those things they still remember to this day. So today we celebrate you. We love you. We want you to know we appreciate you, and nothing you have done goes unnoticed. Um, we love you. Thank you. Bye. Praise the Lord, everybody. I am tasked with introducing the speaker of the hour, and I think I know her pretty well. Uh, District Missionary Maisel Riley, she was born New Year's Day in Clarksville, Mississippi. She resides in Greenville, Mississippi. She is married to the Superintendent Roy L. Riley Sr., the District Superintendent of District 3. She is the mother of three sons, Pastor Roy Riley Jr., Dr. Key Riley, and the best looking one. She has one daughter-in-law, missionary Valerie Riley, and five grandchildren, Brittany, Carmen, Roy III, Corey, and Isaiah, and five great-grandchildren. Missionary Riley received an AA degree from Cahoma Community College in Clarksville, a BS degree from Mississippi Valley State University, and a master's degree from Mississippi State University in Starksville, Mississippi. She was also certified in computer science at Delta State University in Cleveland, Mississippi. She is a retired business education teacher of Greenville Public Schools, uh, where she taught shorthand, bookkeeping, general business, and computer science for many years. Her church activities include being the first lady of district number three, the First Lady of Jerusalem Temple in Leland, Mississippi, church secretary, Sunday school teacher, former choir member, member of the Minister's Wife Circle, first chairperson of the We 12 Committee, a member of the State Education Committee, the recording secretary and member of the Finance Committee for the State Women's Department, and of course, district missionary of the Moorhead District, district number four. After the Somonic selection, I would that you would in, in just get comfortable and get ready to receive a word from the Lord from the guest speaker, District Missionary Maisel Riley. Good morning, Lily of the Valley. Congratulations to you, First Lady Riley, on your big day. 
uh, just celebrating your ministry. Pastor Riley, God bless you guys. Um, I pray this day is a great day for you. Y'all take care of your first lady. Uh, such an awesome woman of God. Thank God for you. I pray this blesses you. Love you guys. Be blessed.
Lord, we thank you for this day. We thank you for your goodness. You've been so good to us. We ask you to bless and keep us. Touch those that are sick, Lord Jesus. We have so much to thank you for, for you have brought us a long ways. We praise and glorify your name. Oh God, oh God, we ask you to bless each person. Each person that's listening, God, bless and keep. We ask you to bless at this place. Keep us and guide us in all that is done and said. Let it be to thy glory. For all of the glory and the honor is thine. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. We thank God for the pastor of this church, Pastor Roy Riley, Jr. We thank God for First Lady Riley. Thank God for my own husband, the Superintendent Roy Riley, Sr. Thank God for being here and being a part of this great celebration first lady day of course you can't do anything better than to celebrate your first lady she is worthy of the celebration and i'm going to give a short message on a priceless jewel taken from proverbs 31 and 10 which says who can find a virtuous woman for her price is far above rubies. When you think of jewel, you think of a precious stone, priceless, having a value beyond any price, costly because of variety or quality. It is precious. Let's take a look at the qualities of a virtuous woman, a virtuous woman in the eyes of God. We said that 10th verse says, who can find a virtuous woman for her price is far above rubies. Proverbs 31 describes a virtuous woman as one who leads her home with integrity and discipline. Those virtues she is practicing or aim at making the life of her husband better, teaching her children and serving God. We must serve God. A virtuous woman is described as one who is a positive influence. She's a hard worker, a good planner, a manager, and a beautiful creature. And if you listen at the things, these are things that, that our first lady, these are some things that our first lady displays. She is trustworthy. That 11th verse, Proverbs 31 and 11 says, The heart of her husband doth safely trust in her, so that he shall have no need of spoil. Her husband can trust her with the household affairs. He can trust her in all of her business dealings. And he knows that she will not work deceitfully, nor will she try to work behind his back. But she will be a true partner, a helpmate to him. A virtuous woman shows respect for her husband. She tries to make her husband's life as good as possible. This priceless lady that I'm speaking of is a woman that is not annoying. She's not impatient or unpredictable. She will never dis 
deliberately let her husband down. She's always going to be there to try to help him, to lift him up. We are not slaves to our husbands, but neither are we in competition with them. Everything we do is a partnership with our husband. Proverbs 31 and 13 says, She seeketh wool and flax and worketh willingly with her hands. This lady that I'm talking about, this godly lady, is a hard worker. She is not lazy. She understands that her husband and her children have to be well fed. This godly woman works willingly with her hands. This godly woman spends money wisely. She is careful to purchase quality items which her family needs. The godly woman leads with intelligence and sense to lead with business. It might surprise some of our modern women, but biblical women were also business women. They managed the home-based business that brought them profits. A godly woman knows how to use her time wisely. She works hard to complete her daily task. She doesn't waste time on the things that do not please God. Proverbs 31 and 20 says, she stretches out her hand to the poor. Yea, she reaches forth her hands to the needy. This godly woman that I'm talking about reaches out her hand to help the poor and the needy. Does this keep her so busy that she neglects the needs of her family? No, of course not. She will never do this. The godly woman is fully aware of the priority of her family. She has strength and honor. She is wise, she is kind, and she keeps a careful watch over her children, her household, and she is not idle. This godly woman that I'm speaking of is a woman that stays on her knees, praying to God for strength to live each day in a manner that is well-pleasing to God. She is faithful to God. We must be faithful to God. This godly woman that I'm speaking of serves God with all of her heart, mind, and soul. She seeks God's will for her life and follows his ways. She watches her tongue and speaks with wisdom. This priceless jewel that I'm talking about is a woman that teaches and nurtures her children with the love of God. She disciplines her children with care and wisdom. A godly woman cares about the children's education. She is always at their disposal. She's involved. She's dedicated loving and interesting in her children's problems and their troubles. Who can find a virtuous woman? For her price is far above rubies. This woman that we are speaking of, this priceless jewel that we are talking about, is a woman of worth and beauty. She cares about God's will. She puts him first. She cares about her husband and her children's welfare. She cares about inner and outer beauty. She is a good manager as well as a person with high moral standards. Who can find a virtuous woman? We have found a virtuous woman. We have found First Lady Valerie Riley. She is a priceless jewel. First Lady Riley, you are trustworthy. You are an asset 
to your husband, Pastor Roy Riley Jr. You are an access to your family. You are an access to the lily of the valley. You are a priceless jewel. You are a hard worker, a woman of wisdom, a woman of dignity and strength. And above all, you are a godly fearing, godly woman. Lady Valerie Riley, you are somebody. Lady Valerie Riley, you are a priceless jewel. You are priceless to Pastor Riley. You are priceless to your children. You are priceless even in this community. Who can find a virtuous woman? We have this virtuous woman right here at the Lily of the Valley, a priceless jewel. Lady Raleigh, you are that virtuous woman that I'm talking about. You are that priceless jewel. And we want you to know, Lady Raleigh, we love you. We want you to be encouraged, Lady Raleigh. Be blessed and continue to let God use you as he wants to use you. Thank God for this priceless jewel. Lady Valerie Roddy, we thank God for you. God bless you, and we want you to have many, many, many more years. God bless you, Lady Riley. That may the grace of God and the sweet communion of the Holy Ghost rest, rule, and abide henceforth, now and forevermore. Let all God's children say together, Amen. Good afternoon, everyone. I just want to say how much I really, really appreciate all of the kind words and thoughts and um, sacrifices that you made to make um, this day a beautiful day. I have enjoyed it from beginning to end. I think about all of the beautiful things that were said. I want to say God bless you to Lady Penrose, to Lady Lewis, to uh, District Missionary Sarah Walker. I want to say how much I really, really thank you for those heartfelt words. Um, thank you, Pastor John Howard, and all of you who took a part in, in the um, the program. Thank you, Lady. Thank you, Lady Riley, for um, the beautiful message that you brought today. Thank you to those of you who even created the premiere. Thank you, uh, Brother Ike. Thank you, uh, Carmen and Brittany and the praise team. 